somewhere in uh, the cold city, Enugu. Now, uh, we influenced the supervision of the work going on there, the master plan. But along the line, uh, we focused on assisting in the build up of a recycling system. This is Mr. Fee's design, except for what we have in here. Now, I feel really upset when I saw this now. Built by one of the younger consultants. It's very popular on the net. Now, uh, in as much as God has used me to bless and raise many young people, now there's nothing wrong in asking for, for, uh, for advice from elders in Kim rather than use customers as being hate. The first thing that was totally wrong here is the so-called ashery. Now you don't put ashery in a funny system right on the floor. Why? Because cartridge are sensitive to temperature changes. Once temperature is 22 degrees centigrade, water, which happens in the night, especially during rainy seasons, then the water will capture the cold temperature and then will you feed the fish from the third day to the tenth day, you find out that they don't digest the protein and the stomach swells up and they're dead. That's one of the major reasons for mortality all around. You can only do this when you are in a very temperature controlled environment. That's why people use water baths, they don't succeed. That's why people use tires in many cases, don't succeed. They only succeed when it's dry season. And when you have that in the southern parts of Nigeria, it's difficult, right? So this is wrong. Do your archery on a race platform. And if you have to do it on the floor, most ones you see overseas, they have a polystyrene under that kind of thing, packing electronics, to prevent the breathing of the ground floor on the, on the, to, affect, to affect the water. So that puts paid to doing, please, the one, don't do this anymore. That's why people use water baths, the old metal water baths. They don't do well in fingerless spray. I've done a video on this before. Somebody who bought almost about 40 somewhere in, in, in Badagri, only for what to tell him to just condemn it. That's when he, he was free from losses of fingerling. Even though he won't raise it up, because those things conduct. You know, when you sit down on the head of a bath that's not plastic or polymer, but your bum bum freezes. <laughs> and that's the same thing that happens to the fish here. So please, we should And then number two, it's too choked. The longer, the better. Babies need surface area. And that's why this is too short for what could have let the old pond itself put a wooden bat, a bat on the bare floor, put lino carpet, like I learned from this for mine in, Viet, in, in Vietnam, who is, who is producing 70 million pieces of catfish fingerling in the balcony of our house in Homin City. As far back as 1998, uh, uh, no, 19, 96, 97, 98. And that's why everybody is led to the revolution in catfish farming. So there's a warning for younger fingerling producers. Please understand temporary relation and let speed be available. Now the one we have here is really interestingly ridiculous. Now catfish growth is an hyperbola, not a straight line graph. Not that week one, it grows one inch, week two, two inch. No, week one, two, three, four, the growth is just infinitesimal until they grow the labyrinth organ. Where they used to, the, the, like the lungs we have to breathe in free. Out. At that time, they want to now come up and go down. That's where you begin to see shooters. Now, when you have shooters, two things make this terrible for fingerlings. One, to now remove shooters is going to be a nightmare. That's why plastics are even better off. And it better not be this, this tall. If you look at if I go in now, oh my. How will a woman go in now and, and do what they call sorting, removing shooters? It's difficult. When you want to address your, your chest and all of that stuff, no, you can't even do that here. It's better they will leave the main pond and then use wood to barricade the shooters on one side and pick what they want to pick. This doesn't work. So I, I hope everyone is noting this because that's one reason. First, how do you source shooters? Then number two, a catfish comes up once every 10 minutes. Now, the, why ashes have low setting is because if you look at, there are six, 10 minutes in one hour. And they are 24 in a day. So you're talking about about 300 feet. That's more cattle you move in a day. Now you're not building them for the Olympics. You want them for growth. So you want to reduce the coming up and down as much as possible by reducing the height of the water. So they can move 300 meters in one day. And so 300 feet in one day, that's about 100 meters. That's a fair. You feed them four, five, six times because their stomach is small. Now, but if you leave something above one feet, oh my God. That means the catfish is now running 300 meters in that small pool. And you're giving it... 
food, uh, what's it called, six, seven times a day, even at that, you, you are going to have a lean fish, which is not the robust one like the BMW I used to talk about, shape, <laughs> you know, that's not, that's not fair enough for the fish or the person who buys it from you. Now, the other part of it is that um, when you, you don't have, you have, it, you have the, what, this thing tall like that, let's even say the fingerling producer is confirmed by having the thing to be one feet high. Now, if he says to you at Igebu, and he doesn't advise you to go ahead and put and leave your water low in the main pond by one feet, then you're going to have the same problem because you're a busy individual who is doing a job outside and just want to feed in the morning. And do it. that's why you're not a hashi operator. Hashi operators know they have to feed five, six, seven times a day. But now you are a grub, a grub person. You want to feed twice a day. Now the small fin is moving 300 meters a day. So by the time you feed in the morning and come back at night, no other protein for, for them to eat two, three, four, fifth time. By the time you come in the evening and they're eating their colleagues. So before you know it, the jabu you thought you bought for uh, 10 naira or 5 naira or whatever it is, you will still find that you have still purchased that 30 or 40 naira per fish. Because out of the 1,000, you are left with 150 pieces. And to compound the story, now go and put it in the thing for me. <laughs> God help you. I think I said enough for now. A word is not for the wise. One more, more, more information, just subscribe to the channel so that you can learn a lot more. So that I'll be safe for a lot of talking. This is annoying. Principles are to be observed. Even though we have tried to provide information to simplify the complex information in fisheries and in cattle farming, especially to render it easier, sometimes so that people when you go to fishery school can do something but shouldn't be insulted by people who are not professionals. Yeah, I mean, I think I'm a culprit in that regard. But I won't say I regretted it. They're always good boys, they're the mid term boys, and they're the <laughs> bad boys. I'll be bad boys become good boys later and return back home as prodigal sons and daughters and learn what is right so that you don't use customers as a guinea pig. This has to be broken. And then they use wooden bats. I think you are building half a coffin. I don't say go to coffee maker too. <laughs> <laughs> they have their jobs for humans. That's the way it is. And then you can have about six on the sides and then your fish is happy, you are happy too. I think the word is not for the for the wise ash operators. For all the things you need to know to get your fingerlings not to die regularly, there are other several checklists. But I will put that on YouTube for now. You can give me a call and I'll just send it to you via WhatsApp. So that this item, my fish are dying there. I'm, I'm only getting fed up because people are not doing the right things to make to make them uh, mitigate against mortality. Spacing is one of them. Temperature control is one of them. Pollution of water is one of them. Water quality acidity is one of them. Strengthening the fish is one of them. They're quite a number. Then we don't talk of restock size of egg, the shape of the porch, making up the testes. There's a low gamut of things. But once you know all the principles, I can tell you, the word mortality, you will find that it's meant for war. When you call mortar for, mortar that they shoot for, this and the, that, when they say mortality, you think of warfare, not for fisheries. Because that word is becoming very popular among fishermen now. Mortality. I think it's time to stop that, the use of that word in fisheries. <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry speaking. laughs> okay.